Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Sandra, if you have not been here before. And today we are going to plan for the, I believe it's the third week of March already. We are planning already for the week of the 18th to the 24th. So, so yes, it is the full third last week of March. Um, yeah, I can't believe how time flies. I think I was talking about this in my goal video yesterday that uh, I couldn't believe it was already... Um, like, my goodness, it's already, you know, March is almost over, I feel like. I, hate, I don't like saying that, but it it's so quickly, going so quickly. Okay, so this is my task card. A lot of people ask questions about this, but this is just a little card purchased from the Honeybee Shop, and then I add my own label, so that's all I do. Okay, so um, review previous week is the first step, so I'll go to my dailies. I know half the time when I talk about this, this is usually the longest part because it's always about review. Yeah, today's the 14th. Wow, I had to double check. Okay, so let's go back to last Thursday. Um, I think I was, I think this was a pretty good day. I didn't get, so, so number one, you're going to see a trend here. For the last week, I have been tr struggling to find time to do any spiritual development or personal development. I have not been able to work on that stuff at all. Um, you'll see arrows for every single day. I just haven't been able to work on it. And uh, yeah, it, it just, I did do some other things, especially yesterday. I was actually really productive yesterday. I woke up thinking, oh no, my mom's coming over. Things aren't going to go to plan. Um, and I also had to do an errand yesterday. I had to go to Walmart and do some clothing returns. So I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get anything done. But so last week I did a whole bunch of, or no, I, I filmed the video. I edited it right after. I organized my clothes. That's what I did. That was one of my things I wanted to get done. And I had to send an email um, to somebody at Connor's school. I wanted to watch a video. I think that and this was Jane's Agenda sale event. That was when it launched. And so... um. And then I also, did I make stickers? I don't think I did. No. Anyway, my main task that day was just to film the video and like edit it. So I got that done. Okay. And then Friday, what did we do? Friday, I went to karaoke. And I went to karaoke by myself. So Chad stayed home with the kids and help them. I had to help my mom with this email that she had to send in. So I did that. Practice some songs. Um, sent order. I think I had, oh yeah, I had an order. Do I have it over here? Let's see. Do I have an Etsy order? Hmm. So I don't know what I meant here by send order. Oh no, I had an Etsy order this day. Right, it came in late Thursday. It came in late Thursday night. So I had a really good Etsy order and I had to send that in to the mail. So I sent that. It was it was in Canada. So I just popped it in the mailbox. Um, yeah, I still didn't work on spiritual and personal development, but this was like a day where I just kind of worked on a whole bunch of odds and ends. And that was that was good. It was a it was still a busy day. I felt pretty busy that day. Saturday, um, you'll see a lot more arrows on Saturday and Sunday, obviously, because, you know, things don't get done as quickly because it's the weekend and kind of relax. Um, so I did all my journaling stuff. I did expenses, dishes, you know, received Amazon order. Um, I can't remember what I got. And I had on here clean Connor's room. So for some reason, and it must maybe from Friday, I don't know. I think Saturday I was really, really, really tired. We ended up going swimming. And that tired me out even more. So I was planning on going to karaoke again because friends had invited me out and I didn't go, which is weird for me because if, if there's karaoke, I'm like, yep, I'll go. But I was so drained that I ended up staying home. Okay, then Sunday came. Again, a lot of arrows. Um, all the journaling stuff got done and we had to get groceries. So... Um, and then also we are going to transfer, so Chad has a pension from one union because he's a pipe fitter. So they have like different unions that they're in and he has a pension with one union and he's no longer with that union. And we're not going to be going back to that one because they don't have any work. So 
Um, I'm not going to explain exactly how it works, but the unions pick up work for the guys. They promise them this, 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 and then in return, they promise the guys work. But this union, they're not giving them any work. Like all of the work is going to this other union and non-union work. So we quit that union, but he has a pension that's just sitting there. And I think that it is attracting a little bit of interest, but I think we're going to have better traction with it if we move it to our bank because our bank is providing really good interest right now. So we're going to put it in some mutual funds and it's going to be a locked in. That's what Lira stands for is locked in retirement account. So we're going to put it in that and see how we do. And then that way I'll be able to track it too, especially for my budgeting. Um, because right now where it's at, I can't see it. I don't know how much it's growing. So this way, if we move it to our bank, we'll be able to see it like day to day if we wanted to. So, and I can be able to see our net worth every month with it as well. So I'm excited to check that out. Um, and we have that, um, we have an appointment booked for that actually on Saturday. Okay, so I had brush pens come in from Amazon. And then they had, um, I placed an U.S. Amazon order. So I ordered my paper. So I finally got my 32 pound paper from HP and you can't get it in Canada. If you can, it's only one ream of paper at a time. So 500 sheets and I needed like six packs of it. So I got a whole bunch, um, shipping actually I did place an order. Shipping was really cheap for this one order. So the paper is coming, I think it's coming today or tomorrow, but I'll have to check. Um, and then I had to do some homework. I think this is the night. So my son had Monday off. There was no school. It was a PD day. So I think this night my son went to my mom's. Again, I just did not put that on here for some reason. Okay. And then on Monday, so Monday was also a good day, but again, you're going to see that trend, no spiritual development or personal development done. Still didn't do my brush pen review. I did get, um, I think they were Statler brush pens. I purchased them from Walmart actually. Um, and I just wanted to show the colors. They were metallic ones. So I'll have a video soon for that. And, um, and it was funny because I haven't done a brush pen review forever. And then also on the U.S. order with my paper, I ended up getting these new brush pens. And I'm waiting for one more pack, but they're called Rytec. And they're really interesting, you guys. Oh my gosh, you might want to check them out if you're into brush lettering. They don't have the colors on the package, so you can tell that they're a cheaper pen. But they write, they write like they're not a cheaper pen, but they are made in China. But um, they're interesting, and we'll talk about them. I'm just waiting for one more pack to come in. So I did a really, it was a really, really busy day. And I felt like, so obviously like this list continued on this page. Okay. So I ended up pulling out charms. I think it was Sunday night. I pulled out charms and I was like, Hey, I should, I should work with these. They were, um, spring charms. And I did a couple of planner bus charm or the, the tour bus. And when I first made, I had two or three of them when I first started making my shop and they sold out right away. So I ended up making two more. They're just like one is pink and one is turquoise. I only had the two left. And then I had a couple of other spring vibe charms. So I made those. And then I posted to my Facebook page because I hadn't, I realized I hadn't done that for any of my astro astrological stuff. So I did that. So it's all up there on Etsy and my webpage. Um, so yeah, so Monday is like a journal, big journaling day, right? So I did tarot, um, manifestation, affirmation, gratitude, kids journals. Um, I transferred my blog, worked on those planner terms. I did helped Connor with his homework. Um, so we did work a little bit on his homework and then my mom had worked on his homework Sunday night as well. So, um, he had quite a bit of homework actually. And the teacher, I ended up having a talk with the teacher yesterday. She doesn't really want to give homework. It's just that they don't finish it in class and Connor likes to be a little off task. So that's kind of why he had all the homework. As so you can see, I did have monthly goals. I started working on it and I realized I'm like, wait a second. We're going into April. It's quarter two. So I had quarter two goals. I had the quarter two goal refresher because I use the Cultivate What Matters planner, like goal planner, the power sheets. So I had to do the whole quarter two refresh. And then I also did my April goals, of course. 
So anyway, it was a busy day. Like, like very rarely do I, you know, use this page for an additional list page, but it was, it was really busy. And I just, the frustrating thing is, is that when I have a plan, things keep popping up. It happens Wednesdays all the time. I'll get to that in a minute here. So Tuesday, this was the day before yesterday. My son went back to school. It was his first day. Ended up going to Starbucks because not only did they have this like bonus thing, if you bought this, 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 you get bonus points, but they also had lavender coffee and I had to try it. Um, if you guys haven't tried it yet, I don't know if I liked it. I don't know. It was interesting. I got the um, lavender oat latte. It was an iced one though. And you could definitely taste the lavender. And I don't know if it works well with the coffee. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd buy it again. So Tuesday is blog writing day. I actually wrote that blog. Um, it was actually on personal development because I, I'm struggling with it so much that I wrote like struggling with personal development, right? Because it's what I'm doing right now. So ways that you can cope with that and ways that you can like combat that. Um, I did expenses and yeah, mostly it was just, it was just, um, the blog, but I also finished my April goals. I finished writing it out. I did not transfer those goals to my planner or business planner yet. And then I filmed the brush pen review. So I guess it took me a while to get there, <laughs> but I finally did it. Okay. And then Wednesday, which was yesterday, um, this was such a busy day and a lot of these things were super important. So I ended up using the ABC one, two, three system just to try it out. And it didn't really work that well for me. I usually list the order not the order of importance, but I list the way I do things in order. So I already like kind of think in my head, okay, okay, this is what I need to do. And I go from like A to, you know, Z. Um, but anyway, I used it and I got everything done. I ended up filming my goal video last night, which was really good. It was kind of like a last minute task. There's actually a couple of things on here I need to write because I did not even write them on here. Um, so I transferred my, my goals to my, my, this planner and my business planner. So when we do the April setup, I'll show you all that. And I, again, personal development, spirituality, nothing. Went to Walmart, did the dishes. Um, I worked on sticker design. I only got one sheet though. And so I'm going to have to work on that again today and tomorrow. I do have it on the next page. And we studied for my son's math test. And I sent an email for his project because he had this writing project and I ended up talking to his teacher after school because I wasn't sure if she wanted us to work on it again. Um, his report card is coming up, so she needs to have projects that, you know, she can mark him on. And um, I was supposed to edit the brush pen video, didn't get that done, and I did not clean my bird's cage. And that poor little guy need, he needs a cage cleaning so bad, so I need to get that done today. Okay, so this is just a reminder, those brush pens came in and then library day for my son. And then I'm just going to add on here. So I ended up doing stuff I totally did not expect to get done. Um, I cleaned, I dusted my dressers. And I cleaned Connor's room. I cleaned his room. So the areas where, you know, like the fastest way to make a room look tidy is to clean the flat areas or the flat surfaces in a room. So I cleaned his night table, his dresser, and his desk and everything up on the floor. So everything in this room looks clean. I just haven't tackled his, um, the bookshelf because I, I think what I'm going to do is buy him a new bookshelf and figure out the book situation and put some downstairs and only keep a few in his room because that's where he has this little TV perched on top of is his little bookshelf. So I'm going to see if I can get one that's a little bit taller, but not too tall, if that makes sense. And then rearrange his books and then just take the one that's in there right now, take it downstairs. The backing is all coming off. So I need to see if I can find another backing for it. But anyway, I'm proud of myself because that was actually a goal. And I got, I got like two things in one done. And it was, it was sticker day and I still did stickers. I did one sheet. I haven't posted it yet because I'm waiting to post all of the astrological stuff together. So I'm going to see what I can get done today and tomorrow on that as well. Okay. And that brings us to today. So I can, I still have lots of stuff to do today. It just keeps adding up. I have a couple of videos to edit. Um, 
what we are filming plan with me right now usually i get all of this stuff done before i start but i wanted to get this done um my baby logan has had a lot of trouble recently the last couple of days he's teething again his nose is plugged like he can't even breathe out of it it's been intensely rough and he's been waking up every night last night he woke up at three but i was able to rock him back to sleep the previous two nights before that i actually had to pull him into our room he wouldn't stop screaming and like i can't imagine how the poor neighbors feel but he wouldn't stop screaming and i'm like what am i supposed to do <laughs> Like I was, I'm getting so frustrated because I'm not getting sleep. But last night was pretty good. I got full three hours. He woke up at three and then, because I went to bed at midnight, he woke up at three, I rocked him back to sleep for 20 minutes and then I went back to bed for another two hours. So it was pretty good. Or I guess it would have been like an hour and 40 minutes, but you know, still went back to bed. So that was good. <laughs> okay, so let's review goals. The thing I like about these inserts is that you have this area for the calendar, important dates, because you know, there might be goals that evolve around your important dates. Um, and then I've actually got this little section for miscellaneous goals. And then this one is for goals that have like a timeline. So I like to, to add extra things here and it gives you, it just seems to give you a lot of room and you don't have to squish it. Like when my cloth and paper inserts that were similar to this, I found I had to squish it a lot. So, um, I haven't touched personal development or spirituality stuff. Um, books, I am still in the same book, but... I actually read a little bit last night too. I'm almost done. You can see here, I've only got a little bit left of this book and this one was really, really big. And once I'm done that book, there is another book that is in the same series, but I remember from last time reading it, it gets a little dry because it's got nothing to do with the main character and it's about different characters. It's a little bit more dry and a little bit more boring. So I know it's going to take me longer to read that one. So in between, I will be reading my spiritual books and I'm going to pick up a personal development book and start reading something different um, at the same time because I want to pick up my reading pace a little bit. Okay, so... Um, spring clean start we haven't yet um, but self-care focus I'm doing well like I'm you know getting my nails done I'm I bought myself clothes yesterday guys I'm so excited um, I never tried them on for chat I was going to and then I just never get time maybe I'll do it today but I bought two spring dresses so I'll see I'm gonna try them on for him and see what he thinks and then I got two pairs of shorts. So I had one pair of shorts from before, but I had to return one because it was too tight. So then I picked up two more that fit. And then, um, so I've got three new pairs of shorts, which is amazing because I really needed some shorts because I, I mean, I've lost, I've lost quite a bit of weight. So I needed some new items. I had to get rid of a whole bunch when I organized my clothes and I had nothing to, to wear. So, um, so now I've, I also picked up two new t-shirts and then the two spring dresses and I would feel like a whole brand new person and when I went to Sobeys yesterday after my clothes shopping at Walmart um, I talked to this lady that I talked to there and I said you know what I actually bought myself clothes and she's like it, but but the, the problem is I felt guilty for it I feel like I should have been purchasing those clothes for my kids isn't that weird like I, I haven't bought myself clothes in a very long time and I felt so good after I was like yes I've got clothes this is amazing because now I have like you know I've got new pants I went to Costco before and I bought four new pairs of pants and two new shirts and I've got like now two new t-shirts and I'm just like oh I've got new clothes and they're so pretty um, but yet I feel guilty for it so uh, I'm trying not to I'm trying not to feel that way but it's really hard because it's all about the kids all the time right it's never about me and I got my nails done I'm gonna get a pedicure as soon as sandal season comes out oh I also got myself two new pairs of sandals too and I'm not talking like the five dollar kind I'm talking like a thirty dollar pair of sandals so pretty ex pretty exciting <laughs> it's amazing what excites me uh, but yeah I, that happened I'm pretty happy about it Okay, so this stuff hasn't come to fruition yet. So yeah, there's really nothing I can check off here quite yet, but let's take a look at the monthly goals. Um, again, nope, nothing yet. Um, April goals I did. I filmed the video, so I just have to edit it today. And books, I, I want to cross off one book, but I'm not quite done, so I can't officially cross it off. But I'm not doing that well. I'm really not... 
So like I was talking about my goal video, I'm not going to cancel my book goal, right? I'm not going to say, oh, well, I didn't finish. Like, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to do, you know, 18 plus another nine books in, in April. So I'm just going to forget it. I think I'm just going to amend my goal. So maybe I'll change it to 50 books or 75 books instead of 100 books for the year. Um, it doesn't mean that I can't read books. I'm just, I'm not going to give up entirely. I'm just going to change it so that I don't feel like such a failure, I guess. Okay. So that is it for goal review. Now let's go to the compass card review. I liked how I decorated this one, so I might do the same thing this week. Okay, so water intake. I have been picking up the pace. I can't officially cross it off. I just started drinking water for the last couple of days, so I don't. I haven't haven't done that well. Uh, journal daily. I have sleep six hours. I have not because um, because my baby. Like I I've been exhausted this week. Ever since that Saturday, it's been. I've just been so tired. Okay, I cannot cross it off. Spiritual to personal development, nothing. I mean, if I was to work on it, it's Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I could do four times, or at least three times in four days, but I haven't done it yet. Self-care, bought clothes, haha. <laughs> Downstairs bath, not yet, back closet. Um, dog poop pickup, I did budget yesterday. So dog poop, <laughs> I am waiting for the snow in my yard to melt. We usually have a big mountain in the backyard before it completely goes away, usually by April. And this week, I'm just going to pull up my weather app because you guys, oh, today is going to be gorgeous out. The rest of that snow is going to be melting. Like, look, I hope you can see this. It's only minus three right now. It's going to be plus 12 today. That is amazing. Plus 12 is going to be so warm. 10 tomorrow. So we're going to be buying a barbecue tonight. We need a new barbecue. The other one is completely crapped. Cropped out. It's it's rotted out. I can't even use it. So tomorrow will be 10. Saturday is 10. Look at Sunday. Oh my gosh. It went up to 18. It was only like going to be 12 and then it went up to 15. And now it's 18 degrees on Sunday. Full sun. And then Monday is 9. Tuesday 11. And then... Uh, that doesn't look so good. Um, but I mean, all the snow is going to melt. So it's funny how it goes from like 18 on Sunday to like minus two on Wednesday. It wasn't supposed to be like that. It was supposed to still be warm. So it's supposed to still like 10 degrees, but the forecast does change here really quickly. But yeah, oh my gosh, it's going to be beautiful on Sunday. It's going to be positively spring. So anyway, I'm expecting all the snow to melt. It's really, really wet out there right now. But after today and tomorrow, and I guess even, uh, what did I say, Saturday? Saturday, it's going to be 10. So yeah, it's going to be like 12 today, 10, 10, and then 18 on Sunday. I'm pretty sure after a day of 18, I'm going to be able to pick everything up because it should be dry enough, I'm hoping. Okay, so that'll be done by Sunday. Closet, I think I'm at my room. I have not touched that yet. Um, make dentist appointment. No, haven't done any of this stuff. Date night on Saturday. And I'm hoping my baby feels better because I said he was teething really bad. My mom's going to be babysitting on Saturday. She did not babysit last weekend. Chad watched the kids while I went out on Friday. Um, but Saturday, he's going to go out. I might be going out tonight from like 7 to 11 to go to karaoke with a friend of mine um, at a different place that I've never been to before. And then Friday, I might also be going to the place we usually go to. We'll see. Um, and then it depends if I'm, I don't want to be drinking and being too tired for Saturday because I want to save up my energy. Um, swimming probably on Saturday as well. And oh yeah, a whole other back page. So Connor's room, I can't cross the whole thing off because I did not do his closet or his bookshelf, but I did the other three things. Um, have not worked on YouTube intros, but I did the goals and then plan with me we're doing now and lettering project. I have not, well, you know what? If you include the brush pen video, I could say I did it. <laughs> I'll have two brush pen videos coming coming soon. I just haven't touched brush pens in a long time other than to use them in my bullet journal and my planner and stuff. Um, but I haven't actually done like huge projects with them. 
So it's interesting getting back, even just doing a brush pen review. I was like, oh, how do I do this again? Wow. Um, but I did that. So, okay. So now we need to do new rolls and big rocks. So I think what we'll do today, I feel, I don't feel established enough to do another card right off the bat. So I'm going to view the calendar master task inbox first, and then I'll just do everything together. So I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll fast forward the whole week and just do that whole process together. So um, let's look at the inbox first. I just figured out a couple of new things to add to here. So first of all, it was a fix hot water tank because my husband um, turned the heat up. So I think he installed a hot water tank like six years ago, I think, maybe five, six years ago. And um, it was a small tank because he couldn't afford the money at the time um, to get like a thousand dollar tank. So we just got like, a, I think it was four or five hundred bucks. And he bought a new hot water tank because the other one had gone. And now I'm finding that the water isn't really like we could run the dishwasher before and have a kid's bath and the, we'd still have more hot water. And now that's not happening. So I mentioned it to him and then he ended up just turning the water up. And then yesterday and the day before I burned my hands like five times. So I asked him to turn the water down and I just want him to like clean it or drain it because you're supposed to technically drain your hot water tank every year. Seems like a lot of water wasted though, because if you drain it, it does have to fill back up and that's a lot of water. So I'm not sure if he's going to drain it or if he's going to look at the, some, uh, some kind of hose he had to look at the drip hose or something. Um, but he hasn't done that yet. And then also we need to put a plug in the upstairs sink because my daughter keeps getting stuff caught in the drain. Um, he pulled out the, the plug a long time ago and I can't remember the reason for it, but he pulled it out. Um, plug in upstairs bathroom sink. So maybe that could be a project he could work on this weekend. But I just wanted to add that on there. Um, we might have to look at getting our oil changed and also getting um, getting quotes for our vehicles. So we're going to get, he's, he's, his air conditioner slash heater doesn't work. He needs to get a new blow fan. And I need to get my back windshield washer working for, for spring. So I'm going to, we're going to do those two things and then get oil changes as well. So I have the money saved for oil changes. Um, so it's just going to keep saving. I did get a spring wardrobe. I'm going to call it spring, but it's like technically spring, summer. And I have a few things that I can kind of like incorporate into my spring wardrobe. I have a lot of like pretty shirts with, um, um, like, what do you call them? Like sweaters, like, um, pullovers, not pullovers, like, what do you call them? Like sweaters that are open, but that you just put on to keep warm. <laughs> wow. I'm drawing a mind blank here. Um, cardigans, like a cardigan kind of, but it's open, right? In front. So I have a lot of those and I can kind of incorporate some of the things that I purchased and some of the, um, some of, some of my other stuff that still fits. So I do have like a, a few things that I kept that were too tight on me before. And it's unfortunate because I actually got rid of a, quite a few things actually that, uh, would probably would have fit me now, but that's hindsight, right? You don't think you're going to lose weight. So you know, when you're a certain weight and you're like, oh, well, none of this stuff fits me and I'm keeping it in my closet for what reason? You're just like, I'm just going to get rid of it, take it to Goodwill. So I did that. And now I'm like, oh, shoot, I should have kept all that stuff. Well, I didn't. Okay, I really have to call the dentist. I have to get that done. Um, me and my daughter have to go for cleanings. Um, I really want to get the caulking on the bathtub done too. I just, I need to have it dry. So yeah, so maybe I'll look at oil changes. I'm going to call our mechanic this week or text him and see if he can get us quotes and get Chad to do these things on the weekend. So I'll probably end up writing that down. Um, if we go to the calendar now. So for the week of, what did we say? The 18th to the 24th. Nothing really happening except, oh yeah, because today, what day is it today? Today is the 14th. So my son has this day. So he's got one full week of school. I've been struggling to try to keep him in school. Like he wants to come home or stay home every day. Like it's a struggle. Um, but he has appointment, like uh, report cards coming out right away. I think report cards are on uh, 
Friday. Um, but spring break starts right after that. So I'm going to try to convince him that one more week, you know, like, I mean, he's only in grade four and he already doesn't want to go to school, but he's struggling quite a bit. So I think that's why. So one more week of school and there won't be that many pressing things. Like we've got, he's got a rewrite, a test, math retest on Friday, which is on decimals. And he's struggling with fractions and decimals a little bit. Um, so I'm going to help him with that. And it's really easy. She's only doing it like out of 10, right? So it's like four out of 10. What is that? So I'm trying to teach him to, if you're dividing, you have to move the decimal to the left type thing. Um, because I'm pretty sure after the break, they're going to start dividing by hundreds and thousands, etc. So, um, but last night we did study for that test and he was too tired. He was in no mood to even like think or understand. So yeah, so the, it isn't quite the last week yet because then I've got more, more things happening, right? This will be the planner week. Um, and I'm wondering here, I'll have to look at my work planner and see exactly when I booked that. Oh, you know what? Let's look. I'm, it's going to bug me if I don't look. When did I book it? My planner is so full, I can barely turn the pages. Um, okay, so I have that for Saturday, for April. So... Mm -mm. I'll probably start filming on Wednesday. So this will be another week when I won't be doing stickers. So like pretty much next week will be my last day. Like if I can work on stickers today and tomorrow, next week will be the last week I work on stickers. So yeah, so next week is still going to be a boring week. So maybe I can still work on my YouTube intros or something so I can still work on anything else I need to like, you know, um, finish up for the end of the month. And then this will be my planner week here. So it's going to be a busy, like the last week of March is going to be busy because I've got spring break. My kids are going to be home. And you guys know I struggle with that. So I have to wake up at five if they're sleeping in. Usually I let myself sleep in, but I'm going to have to get up early to get all this stuff done because those are big ticket like videos, right? So I need to get those done. So Wednesday I'll be filming. I'll have my bullet journal set up. I'll have my compact. Won't really be a big deal because I'm keeping the same binder. Um, and then I want to go to this rock and gem show and then it's my birthday weekend. And then goal review. I put that on here as well because I want to do a review. So I'm going to do a review in my Cultivate What Matters. I'm going to do a review in here because I want to write the review on the back of that sheet. And then the same thing with my business because I have the same the same uh, inserts for my business. And I hope I hope they don't get rid of those because I really like them. Like those, the goal inserts that I've been using. Okay, so as for the master task list, I did cross off a few of the things I did yesterday. Um, so it actually looks pretty good. I just need to get these x-rays done. I need to get my son's x-ray because April 24th is his next appointment and that's coming up pretty soon. So I need to get the x-ray done before then. Garden planning. I also want to do that this week. So I just want to do like a, a picture, a layout of my yard and where I'm going to plant things and what I want to plant. And sometimes it does come down to seasonal things and what they have available when I go buy stuff. Because like, for example, my favorite flower is hibiscus and I also love calla lilies. So what I'll do is like, I'll do a tropical area. So I'll do a whole bunch of hibiscus. I'll do some calla lilies. Um, like anything that looks tropical, I'll plant in that one area. And Last year, they didn't have any hibiscus. I didn't plant anything. So one year I planted a hibiscus tree. Um, I think it was the year before I planted a hibiscus tree on the other side. But yeah, the, the, there's different things I do and um, because they take full sun. But this year I want to see if I can get myself a peony bush. Um, they only bloom once a year, I believe. But once you plant the peony bush, then it's planted. So, um, and I'm, I can't plant it by the house. I'm going to plant it by the fence. So um, we'll see how that goes. Okay. And then for business stuff, I think I crossed off everything I've done so far. So I'm still working on some sticker stuff. But if I can get another sheet or two of regular stickers, and then I can work on the die cuts and the freebies next week on the Wednesday. So, alrighty. So that is that. Um, and now that I've done that, I'm going to like fast forward, I think, this entire portion Sometimes I like talking about this, but it, it always takes so long. Like I've got to decorate and I've got, um, you know what? I'm going to pick a different marker here. 
I love purple, but this purple is a little dark. So I'm going to use this um, Zig Memory System Brushable. It's got two different shades of purple, and this is a lighter purple. So I'm going to use this to, it also has a bigger brush pen, which I really appreciate because then it covers the entire width of this little bar here. And I just have to say, I really appreciate having the early morning to myself. Um, I'm really happy that my baby is sleeping because he needed so much sleep. He he was a tired pumpkin yesterday. He got a nap, but it was only like half an hour and he was so tired and not feeling good. He can't even breathe out of his poor little nose. And his tooth is coming in and it's not even, it hasn't even broken the skin. I think part of the points have broken the skin, but the other tooth is like a five pointer. It's not even a four, like, like the top of it is five little points. I'm like, that's going to be rough for anyone, let alone a baby. Um, okay. So I will be using these stickers again, but I have to decide what one I will use this week. They're all beautiful. I really like this crystal one. I like that one too. And then even this um, Dream Chaser one from Planners Anonymous has some pretty stickers. Like, I love this one. Maybe I'll use this one this time. It's more purple than blue. But remember, I've only got, this is my second last week of, of March. And I'll be switching to my April setup. I cannot believe that. I honestly don't even know what stickers I'll be using for my my April setup because I don't think I have any stickers to use for the monthly setup or for the weekly setups, I mean. And I also wanted to do a book theme, so I might come to this one next week. Oh, what do I want to do? Okay, maybe I really like this one, but I like how it's sparkly. This one's also sparkly. The theme has changed a little bit, the format, right? From this sticker book to the sticker book. I don't know what to use. Okay, well, maybe I'll use Dream Chaser because, or Dream Chaser, I'll use Star, like Starlet Stories because this kind of matches it better. Um, and I'll probably still end up picking up some stickers from here anyway. Okay, guys, we're going to get planning. So I'm going to do the compass card first, and then we'll go to the week, and then we'll do the work week, and then we'll come back and chat. We'll see you in a minute. Showing me all of your best While I'm giving you what I got left 
All right, guys, so I think I'm done. I'm just going to pop this back in my planner here, and I realized I added this to the wrong week. It doesn't belong on the new one. It belongs in this week still. So, um, like I said, next week is going to be more of a catch-up week. It's not um, getting into the busy stuff yet, but I will probably plan my content. So probably set up my work planner for April. I did actually put the rest of my months in this planner. So that's why it's a little bit more bulky. Um, I do have some things coming from Jane's agenda from the, the spring, um, not the spring sale, but the spring release that she just had. And um, I do have an, I have an actual cover for this. So I have a wraparound cover coming. I've never had one before. I usually just have the snap covers. Um, but this planner is too full now for snap covers. I also have monthly dividers. So I'm going to put the monthly dividers in here and I'll be able to plan ahead if I, if I need to, um, because I don't showcase my like monthly setups for my business stuff. I just do it on my own. And these, these calendars are really, really nice to have. Um, I really like this, the monthlies actually, and I'm hoping that they keep the monthlies for next year. Um, and even this daily, I don't mind this so much now that I'm used to it, but uh, hopefully, like, well, I'm, I mean, I, I'm okay with changing my dailies up from year to year, but I actually really like this setup. I like the, the inserts that I have for my work planner. So um, again, it's going to be a quiet week, so I'll have three videos. I, I think I'll post my first brush pens, the Statler ones, for this week. So I was meaning to post them today, but I never got the video edited in time, so I'll post it for Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, but I'll do the new brush pens on the Wednesday of next week. So I've got a makeup video for Monday, the brush pen review on Wednesday, and then a plan with me on Saturday, and then the week after will be a lot of other videos. Um... Usually for Monday, I do my journaling, which I can write here. Um, so journaling, so I've got my um, tarot, my oracle, Meg, which stands for Manifestation, Affirmation, Gratitude, and kids journals. And then I have April um, calendar. So I'll be doing that for Monday, hopefully. Um, transferring this post from Medium to my, or I guess from my website to Medium. Um, so that goes out to any email subscribers. So if you are an email subscriber, you will receive that. And then um, I need to do another blog brainstorm. Okay, or maybe charms, we'll see. This is the first day of spring. I'll be writing a new blog. I don't know what that is yet, but I'll take a look um, closer to the date. And then I will be posting IG posts for every time I post a video as well. Um, and yeah, next week I'll have to post a reel to sh like do a flip through of my planner. And then um, sticker design on Wednesday. So again, this will be the last week that I'll be doing stickers because the week after I'll be doing my planner stuff. So sticker design. And then hopefully by this week, and if not, if I don't get them done by this day, I might, well, we'll see. Because if I do freebies and die cuts, I have to post separate. But if I finish um, any sticker sheets between today and tomorrow, I will post them early. So I'll post um, to my Facebook page and then I'll put everything up on Etsy and my website. Um, Thursday is um, a plan planning with me day. Friday is, well, filming makeup, but I pretty much use it as a catch-up day. And then Saturday, I've got that video posting, and then I've got clean desk on Sunday. Sunday is kind of like a planner, not a planner reset, but like a weekly reset. So I check to make sure that my planners are good for the following week. Um, obviously, I've already done my planning, but I just kind of check to make sure I've got all my ducks in a row. And that's that. And then I have to buy some new charms for the week, for like for the month after. Because as per my marketing schedule, I'm always trying to stay a month ahead. And then I have to work on the stickers and YouTube intros. And that's it. Um, and then finish April designs as priority. Okay, so that's it for work. I really like this planner, but I have a difficult time closing her. And then going back to my main planner. 
So again, I like how I decorated this month. It's still sticking with the same color of the binder and I really like it. Like this sticker kit just goes so perfectly with this month. So I just kind of put a, remind, put a reminder for each of the days. So Monday is journaling, Tuesday is blog writing. I didn't put sticker design here, um, but it's budget and hopefully I can keep it clear. This is what always happens. I plan on doing certain things, you know, like stickers for Wednesday and then other things come up all the time. Thursday's early dismissal, weekly planning, compost recycle out. Friday is payday and takeout day. Saturday is the first day officially of my son's spring break. And then Sunday we'll get groceries. And we'll probably go swimming here too. I just didn't put that down, but I will write that in now. Swimming is such good exercise for us because it's easy on the joints and it just, it's just so good. So we try to go swimming at least once a week when my husband is home. Um, without him, it is much too difficult. So I'm going to put my, my task card back in my planner and that's it for this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you are new or have not subscribed yet, please do so. I would love to have you join and um, that way, if you also click the bell button, you'll be notified whenever I post new content and I will see you guys again next week with a whole bunch more videos planning for April. So we'll see you then. Bye.